Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the nurse flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I am going to show you what sold on eBay today. And this is a Monday. You will be seeing this on a Wednesday. So we have 29 items going out on eBay for a total of $600. We also have a Poshmark sale and two Mercari sales that I am going to show you. There are none super high in this video, but there's a lot of bread and butter that I think you can find pretty easy while you're out at yard sales, thrift stores, such as Goodwill or Savers, depending on where you live in the country, and also online auctions. So let's get started. Take a look, remember these things, and you will learn a lot. up first actually came from Goodwill. This is a Nike dry fit polo. And as you see, it is just a plain green one. I paid $6.98 for this at my local Goodwill. And it does have a tag of $40. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is $25 all in. We'll make about a $13 profit on that. So I always check out the new with tag clothes. I'm not a big clothes person, but if I see items that are new with tags at Goodwill that have the price on them, those are also easy to look. You can scan the barcode with your phone while you're in Goodwill and see if those items are selling well. Up next is actually the highest valued item that we sold. So a lot of these are pretty much bread and butter and it is slower than normal. Again, two weekends in a row, guys, but I have faith it will pick up. And I have actually listed over 120 items in the last three days. I've really been hitting it. I'll show you guys a couple actually now. So there's some really cool ones. So I got a lot of rosaries from shop goodwill and i listed about 40 of those and then we got the bulk dvd buy so we've listed about 75 to 100 of those i listed some milk glass so i have been listing crazy person but this is a really awesome cloisonne if you're not familiar with cloisonne it does have this twisted wire there with enamel and different colors this one and my favorite ones to find are these with this awesome bright blue enamel inside. I actually got this piece for $5 at my local flea market. I actually got three pieces, two of those three have sold, paid at $5, sold for $50 plus shipping. The buyer is $65 all in. We only make over a $40 profit on that little trinket box. So Cloisonne is one of my favorite things to pick up. And I think if you learn it, you will start to see it more. You probably have seen it in the past and passed it over. Up next, these are actually the end of my Walmart, or Walmart, the end of my McDonald's toys. So there are three. There is a Mickey, Daisy Duck, and Donald Duck. So these three actually got a whole gift bag full of these at an estate sale for a dollar. And I've already sold two lots for $20 each they were complete this one was not so it was originally a set of six this was three they sold for eight dollars plus shipping the buyers twelve dollars all in that is all profit at this point and we'll make about a six dollar profit on that so make sure when you're out at estate sales or garage sales some of this stuff is cheap but if you can get a lot of it and lot it up you can have quite a few good sales from a really cheap up next this is layers by lisden this is like shawl I will show you the tag just in case you see them. I would not recommend getting them. This is a medium large and it just kind of drapes over your shoulders. This one I got in my QVC palette. I am about $3 and it's been well over a year. And this one sold for $15 free shipping. Shipping will be about $5. Hopefully it'll be under a pound. It might not be. And we will make about a $5 profit. So that is not something I would look for. That is something I would not pick up. Next, frying pan, you know, <laughs> I'll sell anything. This, and I could tell when I pick this up, this has weight. This is a circulon. 
paid $1.99 for this at the thrift store. As you can see, it's got like the grooves inside of it. And this one's all for $14 plus shipping the buyers $26 all in. A lot of pots and pans are really big bolos, like really big bolos. And this one, we're making about a $10 profit. It's not going to break. It's not going to break. It's a pan. Um, so not horrible to ship out and really easy to photograph. So keep an eye on pots and pans. Try and learn some of those better brands. When you are outsourcing, look up the brand. That way, you know, if there are some in that brand that sell for higher, because some of them, some pieces sell for a lot higher than others. And there might be duds for the brand as well. So make sure you look everything up, except for La Crusade. I think every La Crusade is probably cool. Up next is this Czech Bohemian. These with the enamel flowers are some of my favorites. They are awesome. And I got this one for $5 at the flea market. Sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is $36 all in. And we will make about a $15 profit on that. Up next is this beautiful little pendant. I wrote agate. Um, I am pennies into this. It came in a really big lot. The back is super cool. Do you guys see the blue under my fingernail? It's stained from my hair tie. Um, so look at that. That's some kind of shell. So this one, pennies in, sold for $8 plus shipping. The buyer's 12 in, and we will make about a $6 profit on that. Next. These are really awesome. I'm surprised they took so long to sell. Got them, I think, right before Halloween. So check these shorts out. So these are a brand you need to know. This brand is Loudmouth. And all of their stuff is really loud prints. So they do a lot of holiday stuff. And these are golfing shorts. So I am less than 50 cents into these. I got them in an estate closet buyout. And I actually saw some of those prints. That is what made me buy that lot. I was able to distinguish the LM and kind of research and learned what loudmouth was. And it turns out it's a really big bolo brand for golf clubs. So I was 50 cents in on those shorts. They sold for $30 plus shipping. The buyer is $45 all in. And we all make over a $27 profit on a pair of shorts. Up next is a whole bunch of hotel soap. So if you see, this is Bath and Body Works, but they're from hotels. This is Coconut Lime Verbena. I have nine of them sold for $8 plus shipping buyers 14 all in will make over a six dollar profit i bought hundreds of hotel soaps do not ask me why this person had hundreds of hotel soaps i don't know but i did get them off of high bid and i was pennies into each so we'll say a dollar in so that will be over a six dollar profit i had a ton and actually had several hundred plus dollar sales of hotel soap. So if you find somebody's collection, I would definitely check it out. And if it is cheap, I would pick it up. I do want to say guys, Toucan Sam is up for auction on eBay. He will be ending on Saturday. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a really good place for him. That's like the fourth place I've had him. Betty Boop fits really great right there by the door. But Sam, like if that desk sells, Sam has nowhere to live. I had him up there, but then you wouldn't see him when I'm standing where I'm standing. I put him on the floor behind me for my lies, which you wouldn't see now either. Now he's up on the desk. So he is up on a seven day auction that ends on Saturday night. So if you're interested in having two cans, Sam, definitely check that out. There is a link to my eBay store below. And then this guy is a cute little fish and I am going to get him a bigger tank after doing some research. He is a black orchid crown tail beta he's really cool i don't know if you can see him right there so we got him for dalton dalton loves to come in here and just watch him and it actually makes him behave and kind of stay still because he wants to watch the fish the fish's name is fish he will not let us name it anything else he says no it is fish up next these are some lee shorts paid three dollars for these at my little local thrift store again clothes that are new with the tags I always check out and if they're a good brand nine times out of 10, I'm going to pick these up. These I paid $2.99, so $3. 
He sold for $13 plus shipping the buyers $18 all in and we will make about an $8 profit on those. Next. I do not have this and I'm not going to go get it because I actually had to kind of sneak out of the house to do the video today. Dalton got up way too early. He was up several times last night so he is super grumpy so there was no way I was going to let him out here while I was doing my video and I forgot this shawl is in my closet inside. So this is a Calvin Klein scarf. I did pay $5.99 for it at a local thrift store and it was new with tags that sold for $25 plus shipping the buyers 32 all in and we will make about a $17 profit on that. So again, clothes new with tags, check them out guys. I am not a clothes seller, but this weekend, apparently I am a clothes seller. There's a lot of clothes today, which is fine because clothes are really easy to ship. So this is a Greg Norman size large men's sweater. I will use my lint roller and get that stuff off before I ship it out, I paid a dollar for that at a local thrift store and it sold for $12 plus shipping the buyers $18 all in and that will be over a $10. Oh, there are more clues. <laughs> you know, it happens. And I'm not arguing because stuff's selling. This is White House Black Market, extra extra small, really cute little polka dot shirt there. This again was actually in the same lot as the Loudmouth closet by so this lady was a golfer her estate sale was online i bought three lots from her closet and this one again less than 50 cents in it sold for eight dollars plus shipping the buyer is twelve dollars all in i'm actually going to show you she actually got a second one so the shipping will be combined and it will be more profit on these watch out <laughs> i have never played golf in my life i don't even know if I would know how to swing this thing. Anyways, I paid less than a dollar for this golf club. I got it in a lot from an online auction. I paid $30 for the bag and a bunch of clubs. This one is Golf Works model RM133. That is all you need to know. Look up this number. This will go in a postal tube. It's actually kind of like raw, kind of like that, but triangle, triangular. You can get them free from the post office. So this club sold for $24.99 in less than a week, and we'll make over $20 profit on a golf club. So this is the third golf club that I have sold from those bags, and they have not even been listed a week. So I am very happy with this. I am glad to have learned them. So expanding your knowledge, like me learning golf clubs, not, not really even learning golf clubs. I'm not learning them, <laughs> but I am learning to look at them and to search that number and see if they might be worth something. Whereas before I probably just sort of walk right by, I am adding another thing into kind of my repertoire of what I look for while I'm outsourcing. Then we have some jeans. <laughs> These are Believe in Your Own. This is Kim Gravel, Bell by Kim Gravel. These are size six. I got these in the same QVC palette. Again, over a year ago, this is one of the reasons I don't pick up too much clothing. So this pair of jeans sold for $20 plus shipping the buyers 26 haul in and we will make about a $15 profit but those have been here over a year. I am going to go ahead and show you the Poshmark sale. This is not something I would have thought I would have sold on Poshmark. I sold some Elvis newspapers. I'll show you one. These are older than me. So There is Elvis. He is from 1977. These three sold over on Poshmark for $15 plus shipping. Pepper actually gave me a bunch of these for free. So my cost in is zero. I'll make about a $12 profit. And it did take about five or six months for those to sell. Not something I would pick up um, unless it was like a giant tote for $5. Or something. Then I probably would. And then... Dale Earnhardt number three. I actually love NASCAR. 
I have been to several of the tracks, including Daytona, of course, because that's in Florida, and Talladega, Alabama. So this shirt sold over on Merc shirt. This is a shirt. You know, <laughs> this hat sold for $20. $20 plus shipping over on Mercari in less than a week and I only paid a dollar for it. So definitely keep an eye on your hats. Check them. I recommend trying to find them in bulk and paying about a dollar each and even if they sell for eight, ten, twelve dollars, still making a pretty good percent return. But then if you sell some for 20 bucks, that's a really good return. Those don't break either. Next is some vintage ephemera. This is truly they grotty. I don't know. Here's another picture. This is over eight dollars plus shipping. Buyers twelve dollars all in. I am less than a dollar in, so this will be about a six to seven dollar profit. And we do sandwich the ephemera in cardboard, and then we put it into an envelope. Up next, this DVD is going out to Tina, who has been a longtime subscriber as well as supporter of the channel. This is The Passion of Christ. This is the first DVD to sell from the thousand that I got. Mind you, we've only listed about a hundred. So we have a lot more to list. They're actually still in the truck. We have not taken them out. Tina got this for five plus shipping. She is eight all in. So Tina, I greatly appreciate your purchase and your support. And I will get this out to you. I also want to say thanks. I did ship out on Friday, three queen size mattress protectors to Kathy, Jizzy, and Lupe. And those I've got listed on my community tab. So if you do need a new mattress topper, I am sold out of queen, but I do have king and full and full XL still available. I've not put them up on eBay because I wanted to give my subscribers a little bit of a chance to get those because they're really nice from the Marriott Hotel. They are all brand new. So if you want some more information about that, you can email me at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com or check it out on my community tab. So Kathy, Lupe, and Jizzy, thanks so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate Next, it. I will show you my one Mercari sale going out. Actually two, you just saw the hat. These are some really pretty Blue Ridge pottery. There are three of them. I got these in an online auction lot. I paid it less than a dollar and they sold for 15 plus shipping. They will be about a $12 profit. Up next, this really cute little bamboo and daisy pitcher. This is from Japan. Really cool little pitcher that could be used as a pitcher or it could be used as a vase. I think it would be super cute as a vase. Pick this up for a dollar. It sold for 15 plus shipping. The buyer's 26 all in. Next, this is the second DVD from mine to get from. This is pretty cool. And this one sold for $4.75 plus shipping by $8.10 in. So cheap sale, right? But let's say I make $4 on all thousand of those DVDs eventually. I paid $300 for those. $304,000, not a bad profit. Easy to list. Front, back, throw them in a padded poly mailer and off they go. So I am okay with listing some stuff that is cheap if I'm getting it in bulk for pen. This is actually another great example of what I just said. So this is the Amish six. This is a front and back pattern booklet, paid pennies. I do not take a picture of the inside. I just do a front and back. This one sold for $4.99 plus shipping the buyer's eight in and we will make about a $4 profit, but I paid under 50 cents for that. So Again, if it's easy to list, easy to ship, and I can buy a big bundle, I am okay with it. And when you do that, you might find something like this. So this was in my ephemera. This is from the intertribal Indian ceremonial from the 1930s. Really cool. Again, a big bulk lot. And in that lot, though, I found a lot of items that were worth way more than that typical five to 10 bucks. This one sold for an offer of $15 plus shipping. The buyer's 21 all in on that. So when I buy those bulk lots, I'm hoping for a diamond in the rough, so to speak, or a needle in the haystack. I'm hoping I'll have that one item that might be worth what that whole lot I paid for. So 
and the DVDs, I'm hoping maybe a couple of box sets will be worth 50 to 100 and then it's sold off fast. And then all of those little sales add up. They are all profit after it's paid for. I have not got the DVDs out of the truck. So step one is going to be to list them. Next are these avocado bowls. These are fire king. Let's see if I can get it. There you are. These are like an avocado color. These I got in a big glass slot. Paid about $2 for the three of them. They sold for $15 plus shipping the virus 27 all in, and those are going international. Next is the other shirt that that lady bought. This one is also White House Black Market. And this has pretty rhinestones, little slinky shirt. And the cool thing about buying lots like that is they're all the same size and you could get multiples because people tend to like the same brand. That one sold for eight plus shipping. The buyer's $14.40 all in. Overall, that's over a $30 sale on items I'm less than a dollar into. Next, a little cross-stitch kit. This did come from my mom. Kind of sucks. It looks like she paid $19. She might, knowing my mom, she probably did not. She probably got on sale, but... This one sold for eight plus shipping the buyers 12 all in. This one took about six months to sell. A lot of brands of cross stitch. I know Bucilla is one of the brands that come with the kit with the thread will sell fast and they'll sell for good money. So if you find lots of those, that's another good thing to pick up. If you notice lots is repetitive, you will hear me say that over and over because that is a great way to buy items and get them for cheap. So this one we will make about a $5 profit on and we split that with my mom. This is cool vintage beer t-shirt. It's got like beers from around the world. This one I'm about $4 in and got in a big lot and I've had it about six months. It sold for $12 free shipping. But that lot has been in the profit as well. So we will make about a $7 profit next. Mm -hmm. I am not sure where all of these clothing sales came from. But a lot of this stuff has been here a long time. So I'm very appreciative that they are selling. They are all pretty much lower cost. This is selling. a vintage Lee Sport Yankees jersey. This one I paid a dollar at a barn sale over a year ago. It sold for $9 plus shipping. The price is $13 all in. We will make about a $7 profit on that. <laughs> Clothes, clothes, clothes. You know what? But if I didn't have clothes, I wouldn't have many sales this weekend. So this is Talbot's Petite. This is a really pretty like lacy floral little kind of blazer cover up. And this was in that same clothing lot. And it sold for $9.99 plus shipping the buyers $15.99 all in. We will make over a $8 profit. I am less than 50 cents in. Not sure why this lady's clothes are all of a sudden selling, but I am happy that no. they are. <laughs> More clothes. Napa Auto Parts. This is a work shirt paid less than a quarter. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty on these. This one sold for $8.77 plus shipping. Buyers 12 all in and we will make about a $6 profit on that. The nice thing about all these clothes is today is going to be a really nice shipping day. So those clothes will go into poly bags and they'll be super easy to ship. I don't have a ton of breakables going out today, so it will be a nice shipping day. And then we have this mini motifs. This is another cross stitch book. This one only sold for $3.50, which is okay. I've had it for over six months. I had it listed at like seven or eight. Somebody sent me that offer of $3.50 and I was like, you know what? It's been sitting here forever. I'm going to just get it out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the live show last night with a lot of Josh and Becky Park on Poshmark. Definitely check those guys out if you have not watched their channels before. I appreciate them coming on with me. I appreciate all of you watching and hanging out with me. And I hope it is a good week. It is a Wednesday. It is hump day. So happy hump day to all of you. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you on Friday. Bye guys. Thank you.